All right, so the first step is obviously just to log into your WordPress dashboard, whatever WordPress website or whatever website in general you made, just log into the back end. And now we want to click on plugins. And here we can see we have the WP Forms Lite plugin already installed. If you don't, go ahead and pop to the top, click add new, and just do a search for WP Forms Lite. And it's going to be the contact form by WP Forms drag and drop form builder for WordPress. So we already have this cool plugin called WP Forms Lite. And if we click set, oh, we have to click update. If you ever see that beige uh, bar, it means you got to update it. Keep your site fast and secure. We can actually click settings, email, and we're going to see that there's not a lot here because we have to actually make a form somewhere. Well, where do we do that? Well, we have a button for add new form, so why don't we try that? And it takes us to the WP Forms editor, perfect. So we're actually just gonna grab a template and we're gonna grab the newsletter signup form template. So click that one. All right, and it's gonna be super simple. It says, don't forget, click the marketing tab to you configure your newsletter service provider, aha. So we can close it for now because all we're interested in doing right now is just inserting the form on our website and making it look good. But if you want to add fields, you can just click them over here and they'll come in there and people can choose from your different options. So that's really how people create forms on the web. They're not super good developers. They just use really cool, easy, beginner friendly tools. Okay, so for now we just need to save it and we need to click embed because Name, email is all we need. All you need to do now is just copy this short code. All right, and come back to our site. Click on the elements and then click on short code. Where is it? I'm going to search for short code. I'm going to drag a short code in right here. And now we're just going to paste the short code in right here and update it. All right, and it looks really goofy there, but hopefully. Once we click the hamburger and click view page, it will look like a form. All right, and it does look sort of like a form. It just needs a little bit of styling. So let's go back to our editing window and we need to move this short code into the middle of the page somehow. How do we move that short code? Well, one good way to do it would be to add a blank column on the left and a blank column on the right. And the easiest way to do that is to set up a new intersection. So let's click back to the elements and drag in an intersection like such, which you can see has two columns. Now all we need to do is just duplicate one of the columns and you'll get three or four or however many you want. And you can also delete to get back to three. Okay, so now I'm gonna right click on the pencil icon for the short code and copy it. And I'm gonna click in the middle column down below, right click, paste, cool. Now we can delete the upper short code and update it. And we'll see what we made. All right, so I don't like how our form doesn't fit the entire middle column and the input fields are a little bit short and stubby. So to change that, I've made some uh, edits that we can do right now. We can just go to our WP Forms Builder and you can click on name, for example, and then open advanced options and then in advanced options, just change it to large. And do the same for email, click email, advanced options large, and then save it. All right, so that should make that improvement. So now we have the form going through the whole middle column here, which is an elementary. We have one column, two columns, three columns. And I also don't like how the form is kind of not styled to our website. Our website has these nice pink red colors and Everything's just a little bit bigger and larger than life on our website and the form is too small. So what I did is I wrote some custom CSS for you guys. You can get that if you open up our blueprint and just scroll all the way to the bottom and then just paste whatever is in this below section. So right now we have this huge div forms container and all this stuff just talks to the WP forms code. Just copy it. And once you get that, come back to the site. All right, I open it in a new window now. Sometimes we need a few different tabs going and now we're going to click customize, which is where a lot of the WordPress edits that can't be done in Elementor are done. 
And now you just want to click additional CSS. And if there's anything in there, just get rid of it and then right click paste. So that will actually change how your form looks. It'll of course work, but it just made the colors better, wider, and a nice border radius around that. If you're familiar with CSS, you can actually add stuff to this section right here, like font family or font size, or really any different CSS selector could possibly work on the forms. So feel free to play around and learn more CSS if you'd like. I just wanted to get you going with those three little pieces of it. All right, let's make sure to publish our form. Now it fits our site a little bit better. And the last thing I wanna do is go to WP Forms and we're gonna change submit. If you click on submit, we can just change it to join our newsletter and save it. And everything's dynamic, so that'll all update on our website if we make changes and customize or in WP Forms. Okay, let's go back to Elementary now and we're gonna make sure that we saved it. Make sure you've updated it. Sometimes I just do like a little letter change or something so the update button becomes green again. Now we're going to refresh it so it sees our form changes. Scroll down, form looks good. We just need to give the form a header. So what you can do is actually copy one of these headers like upcoming retreats. We can just right click on it and duplicate it. And then click on the pencil and hold and pull it down. And we can just pop that in right above our newsletter and then retitle it. And we'll center it. Beautiful. Let's update it and let's see how our work looks now. All right, pretty cool. I think I just want that little border. So I'm gonna copy this border to right click, duplicate, a little bit harder because it's so thin, but bring it down to the bottom and center it and update. Perfect, great job guys.